Welcome back to another episode of Project M340i and I'm not too sure what all is going to happen in this video but we're starting off with uh, some new paddle shifters for the car. So the stock paddle shifters, you know, they're not the most premium feeling ones and especially the click that is there is not very satisfying. So uh, Mechanics has ordered some JQ Works uh, carbon fiber paddle shifters for this car. They've sent us a little message. Thank you for becoming the JQ Works family. The JQ Works Matte Trace magnetic paddle shifters will come with a limited lifetime manufacturer warranty. So anyways, let's open up this box. And these, these are the paddles. Super nice carbon fiber finish. And the reason why we've ordered these is not because of the carbon fiber finish, but it's because of this. Listen. What the fuck am I doing? Ha. So, the job is pretty simple. All we needed to do was remove the airbag and the coupler and connector were right here for us to just, as simple as unplug, remove the old paddle, which makes no noise, versus the new carbon fiber magnetic paddle. Finally, after six months of waiting, the brand new wheels for the M340i are finally here. And I'm pretty sure you've already seen them in the intro. These are a really special set of HRE FF10 wheels. And let me tell you why they're special in just a minute, but I mean, just look at them. They look really, really nice. And we're going to be fitting them in today's video. So before we show you how the car looks as a whole, uh, let me quickly talk about the wheels. So these are HRE FF10 wheels and the front wheel and the rear wheel are a little different. So we've gone back to a staggered setup. If you watch uh, some of the earlier videos in Project M340i, the BBS wheels were a square setup. So all four wheels had the same width, but uh, we've gone back to a staggered setup, which is recommended by BMW. So the front wheels come uh, uh, with 8.5J and ET25 uh, dimensions and this particular, like the front set of wheels, they have a medium level of concavity. So basically this inner part is a little bit more inside and the wheel looks a little bit different compared to the one at the rear. Let's check out the one at the rear now. So this is the rear wheel. So this is a 9J ET30 wheel, so it's a little wider and it has low level of concavity so it looks slightly different and the uh, width of the tires are also a little different so in the front you have 235 40 and in the rear you have 265 35 
and there is a reason behind it is because uh, in x drive the overall diameter of the wheel and tire uh, should be within 1% so if you don't have it within 1% so the x drive you know will have some sort of a problem 1% front to back So the front to back uh, difference between the overall diameter should be within 1% or else the X drive will have some sort of issues. So let's drop the car down and see how it looks. It's been quite the long wait for these beautiful HRE wheels and finally they're here. So comment down below what you think of the brand new wheels. I know a lot of people didn't like the old BBS wheels that we had on the car but I think so these wheels look absolutely fantastic on this car. Bunch of more upgrades are scheduled for this car. Uh, those episodes will be coming very very soon so stay tuned, stay subscribed and I'll catch you in the next one.